especially when setting goals when you showed us that amazon six page doc the sample one right. it was very specific that i think i saw some numbers something like 63% we want to increase right. so let's say while doing uh, like while releasing a new feature it is to promote some engagement and we've made that out so how do we come up with that because goal setting is something which is very initial and while doing that i can realize yes the goal of my feature is to increase engagement and i can sort of understand that uh engagement has to increase a lot or it has to um uh, increase i mean i can s- think of that but how will that estimation be done that you know i need to drive uh, increase it by to 63% or something how what kind of processes do you follow to get to that number while goal setting especially right right so i think the example that i showed uh that was a fairly i'd say established or a mature business line where you mm-hmm. have a lot of customers you have a lot of data and when you have a lot of data uh you have you can project you see what the historic growth rates have been you see what your current customer base has been uh this is a goal setting exercise that you do with your finance teams uh or marketing teams and you figure out like hey you know based on our existing trajectory we might be growing 50% year over year but let's kind of extend it let's let's kind of uh make it a little bit more challenging and there it's all kind of based on certain educated guesses right like you say like okay if we let's say do release more features or if we spend more money on marketing we might be able to increase it by 15% so let's add that 15% to this so when you have a lot of data that's how you kind of decide the goals when you don't have a lot of data when for example right now i'm in a newer initiative we don't have any customers yet we are still building things out we have very different kind of goals uh and we focus more on the input metrics right like the input metrics would be that the goal would then shift to that hey we want to launch this product by end of this year that's kind of the goal and we are and we and we'll make that quantifiable that we'll say like hey you know uh we'll launch that the 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 product by end of this year we will be uh doing seven marketing activities and spending 10 million dollars on marketing uh by september we'll lock in five uh partnership deals with these with with these different teams something like that and y- your focus kind of shift to the input metrics things you can control uh and as the business grows as you start getting more customers you think you, you start thinking about like okay now what are the other things that we can control do we have control on like now user growth rate if users have started using the product but they're not liking it then you uh then you start measuring it using some csat or nps score and then you'll focus your attention there so it really depends on what context and where you are in the product life cycle and that's how you you set those goals is that answer that question yeah yeah